I think yesterday we saw the funniest campaign event gone wrong that I've seen in years in order to attempt to show the chaos, I guess, of a potential Kamala Harris presidency. The Trump team put together an event for J.D. Vance called Kamala Chaos in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, sort of like shadowing where Harris and Walls would be speaking later in the day. And the entire event was so mismanaged that the crowd standing behind J.D. Vance blocked the word chaos in this banner. And it looks like a Kamala Harris rally. I mean, you can when if you just were to scroll past this, you see Philadelphia and you see Kamala in huge letters and you see a guy speaking. It sort of looks like a guy <laughs> endorsing Kamala Harris. I, I don't know how else to say it. And um, just widely lampooned and lambasted and ridiculed because it's so, so stupid and such an obvious mistake. And the real chaos to me seems to be that they ended up holding an event meant to attack, attack Kamala Harris that looked like it was a Kamala Harris campaign event. Now, it, th everything about the event was ridiculous, including uh, the audio. Here is a clip from Fox News where they show a reporter asking uh, Vance a question. You see Kamala over his head and the word chaos continues to be obscured by the crowd. And uh, Vance just attacks Tim Walls with the usual kind of like nonsense talking points. So first of all, the reason I didn't say a whole lot about Tim Waltz is because the Democrats have showed a willingness to pull a little switcheroo on us. So I don't even know if we're actually going to get Tim Waltz out of this campaign. And I think that a lot of us are asking ourselves, well, you know, there's always some way in which these guys are always projecting. And now, you know, Trump introduced, as I told you earlier in the show, Biden might show up at the DNC and demand the nomination back. No, he won't. And now J.D. Vance says, I don't know that we're even really going to get Tim Walls by the end of this campaign. And of course, we are. Tim Walls is going to be the running mate. It's very clear. It's already been announced. But the real question is, is J.D. Vance going to make it to November? There's always some aspect to this where they, what they throw to at others actually applies to them. Let's hear the rest of his answer. Well, it's not going to be official until the Democrats actually nominate him, I guess, at their convention next week. So right. that's the first reason. The second reason is, look, Tim Waltz's record is a joke. He's been one of the most far left radicals in the entire United States government at really? any level. But I think that what Tim Waltz's selection says is that Kamala Harris has bent the knee to the far left of her party, which is what she always does. Yes. Meanwhile, there are many on the left who say Tim Walls is like kind of too middle of the road. I wish he were further left, but he really doesn't seem to be so total chaos in trying to make it seem as though Kamala's campaign is chaotic. And it ends up with J.D. Van speaking in front of what looks to be a Kamala Harris sign. Eventually, we got to the question of why aren't you guys really campaigning, especially Trump? I want to talk about that next. Right now, we are seeing candidates do whatever it takes to win your vote and how the media chooses to cover certain stories, if at all, can completely shape your perspective of those candidates. But our sponsor, Ground News, is an awesome resource at a time like this with their vantage plan. I get access to what's called their blind spot feed that shows me stories that can be easily missed. For instance, I'm looking here at Ground News summary about Trump distancing himself from Project 2025 amid its rising controversy, something we've been talking about. Ground News provides a great summary of the situation based on over 100 articles that Ground News found reporting on it. And Ground News shows me that almost no conservative news outlets are covering the story. Not a surprise. Ground News shows us that the right wing outlets only report on how Trump is denying involvement with the project, while the center and left outlets are actually giving context on Trump's connections to the movement of Project 2025. Every story comes with this visual breakdown of the political biases and ownership of the reporting news outlets, which is really important to know as well. Go to ground.news slash Pacman or scan my QR code for 40 percent off 
the same unlimited access vantage plan that I use.